So you have William E. Woods, who's the liberal Republican in the race. You have four candidates for the Republican Party. The primary is May 21st, so it's only 10, nine days away, less than a week. And it's different than Colorado. You don't get a written ballot and have an entire month to figure out what you want. There's only one day, just one day, May 21st. Everybody has to go out on Election Day, go to the ballot stations, punch in the electric thing on the Diebold machines, which can be hacked within just a minute's time. And that's how the election goes. So they don't have a month. They have to get out then and there. And so it's just a, you know, a burst of democracy for a day, and then that's it. Now, Weemy Woods, he is from uh, lots of different places, actually. I heard that he was from Union. I heard he was from Boone County. I heard he was from Fort Thomas, Corinth. So all those are kind of in the same spots. It's all northern Kentucky. And I'm pretty familiar with the characters that are in northern Kentucky, that are in Corinth. Okay, the only two things I know about Corinth is you have a dirty, dirty ass, creepy ass priest that lives in Corinth. You also have lots of fiber optics. It's a population of 50, but they got fiber optics. So Corinth was smart enough to write a grant as soon as Obama offered the stimulus package. Obama got elected 2008, and he says, hey, this is how I'm going to help the economy. I'm going to stimulate the economy. If you have a grant proposal, if you have a shovel-ready plan ready, then I will give you a bunch of that, you know, shit ton of money. And that's what Corinth did. That's what Grant County did for Corinth, and Corinth got themselves some badass fiber optics internet. Fiber fucking optics. So they got super fast internet in the middle of nowhere in Corinth. Now, Corinth has a lot of assorted characters, a lot of a lot of zany, you know, little just colorful and just you got, you know, Miss Pillbilly and Mr. Methhead. You just got, you know, so many different characters, just so many different people in Corinth. You got Mr. Gonorrhea and the anti vaxxers, right? So they're gonna go ahead and get HPV to everybody for Christmas dinner. You're gonna get some herpes and some syphilis, HIV and AIDS. Don't get universal health care, you stupid ass backward state. Right? Make sure you don't get, you know, have any goddamn con. Don't y'all know how to use a condom? All the STDs? Jesus, Corinth, come on. That actually hasn't happened in Corinth, and I don't know any of those people. Just uh, full disclosure, there's a disclaimer in case you're like, hey, that's their fake news. You don't understand sarcasm. You don't understand, you know, people playing around. But there is a lot of those people all throughout Kentucky. So Corinth is a small town, so it is susceptible to having an STD outbreak. So Corinth, you know, Bevin's spitting on gay folks, the Palestinians, the Syrians, their 17% poverty rate, 400 million is being spent on pension managers, 30 million on these international fishing expeditions, which fail. So you have a bunch of diverse folks and people. you got people that's going to accept all that corruption, accept all that wasted tax money. You assholes are going to tax me so Matt Bevan can go to, you know, China to do nothing. So you're going to tax me so Matt Bevan can go on these, you know, lavish vacations uh, that reap no rewards for the state of Kentucky. That's what you believe in taxes for? You believe in taxing me to give it to the pension managers, so not to give it to the teachers or the road workers or the judges, but to give it to the pension managers. Oh, okay, there, that's a great use of money right there. Let me tell you, so many characters, it's like a Simpsons episode, right? Just the Simpsons, so many new characters, so many, you know, just a diverse bunch of folks. You got your average racist, and you got your far right wing white supremacist. You got, you know, several KKK compounds there, so you got different ranges of racism. You got, you know, the low level racist, the medium racist, and then the high level racist. Of course, in Kentucky, you got the assholes, and you got the pricks. You got both of them. Just the good old boys, right? Just a bunch of good old boys smoking some meth. Getting ST and spreading it around everybody. <laughs> and illiteracy. Yeah, in 1999, two out of five Kentuckians can't read or they have a kindergarten or lower literacy rate. They can't even fucking read. I can't believe how many liberals defend that shit. Hey, they're allowed to be dumb, backwards assholes that can't even read. The Internet can educate everybody. So self-education is the most important form of education. Get the Internet. You don't even need public schools. You can educate yourself. And that's a much more powerful form of education. But you're going to tell me that you don't even want people reading the Internet so they can't register to vote, file their taxes, and they can't get information, apply for jobs. They can't do nothing.
powerful cast of just wonderful, flamboyant, colorful characters, good old boys, just a various assortment of, you got the homophobes, right, and then you got the loudmouth morons, the pervasive disease of the impoverished is all over the place, just an assorted motley crew, the loudmouth morons, they're ignorant, they're stupid, they don't know what the hell's going on, they're backwards, but they're loud as shit, they're loud as shit, they want everybody to know how b dumb and backwards and ignorant they are, hey, here's what, something I heard that's backwards and stupid, and I went ahead and agree on it, I'm going to agree on everything that's backwards and stupid, Oh, man, this, you know, Motley crew. you have the corrupt and you got the non-voters, so you got the people that don't give a goddamn about anything, which is 90% of Kentucky. Then you got the 10% that's running all those people, and they're corrupt as shit. You got those, you know, who are have dental problems, health problems, lots of fat people. You got the fat people, you got the homeless, you got the fat homeless, you got the meth users, you got the toothless illiterate, you got the elder and wife and child abusers, you got heart disease, low voter turnout rate, no referendums, no initiatives, no democracy, no freedom. That's I'm not saying that William E. Woods is responsible for any of these things. These are just problems that Kentucky has. You have a lot of people, a lot of a middle class that's doing fine for themselves. You also have these judges, which just they are making bank, buying land, buying businesses, pretty much taking over the entire state. They have all the power and all the money, and they have pensions that just go on and on. So just million dollars, just millions are being spent. So you're going to tax me to make sure that these stupid-ass judges that fuck people over for smoking a joint have a nice million-dollar, multi-million-dollar retirement. So William E. Woods is from northern Kentucky, so I'm not saying he's responsible for any of this. I'm saying that's the culture that he comes up out of. You have Boone County, which is 95% white, which is right across the river from Cincinnati, which is 50-50, 50, 50, 50 black, 50% 50, 50 black, and 50% white. So how come you have a pretty much a nice, perfect yin-yang city in Cincinnati, go to Boone County, and there's no black person to speak of? There's three of them. So I bet you Weemy Woods has never met a black person, even though he has been in the culture that Weemy Woods comes up out of. And so, therefore, Weemy Woods probably has never met a black person in his entire life. But he has been exposed to Klan members, and Nazis. So, that's Boone County, Kentucky.